Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com, here with another photo of the week. And this week's photo comes from Underground 7, Yannick Silver's Underground 7, which I photographed last week. And this photo I took with the Nikon D7000. But before I tell you the settings, this subject is a very well-known guy. He is uh, the owner of the Washington Capitals. He also owns the Washington Wizards, the Mystics, uh, the whole building, the MCI Center, and a whole bunch of other things. What an amazing guy. Just just an awesome guy to listen to speak about his story and where he started and how he's gone and done what he has done and his philosophy on doing that. Um, he so happens to be one of the founders of AOL, used to be the president of AOL during the heyday, the 90s, uh, and I guess into the early 2000s, and yeah, it was just really cool listening to this guy, and he's got some great books out, and I, you know, I recommend that you get it. His name is Ted Leonsis, and that's about that for that. So what did I shoot with? I shot with the D7000. I was testing it out, so I already finished shooting with my D3S, and I figured let's throw the D7000 on and see what we can do with it. I shot at 1 1,000th one of a second at f3.5, ISO 3200 with the 302.8. For some reason, I'm not sure why it doesn't say 450 millimeters because it was shot with a 302.8, but I don't know. Really happy with this. Uh, I, what I really wanted to do was a comparison between the D3S and the D7000 at 3200 at the same settings. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you the D3S one right now, but I can tell you that the D7000. You can see these pixels and these dots and, and stuff like that. The D3S is much cleaner, much smoother. But again, we're zoomed in all the way one-to-one -one here. But really, when you're zoomed in one-to-one -one with the D3S, you can still, you know, everything looks smooth as if you were all the way zoomed out. So you can see that there is a difference. But again, a $1,200 camera that's newer versus a $5,000 camera, there's going to be a difference. But I got to say that, this is really sharp and really clean, and I, and I was really happy with it, even at 3200. It just says that the that the future cameras, the D300S replacement, the D700 replacement, the D3S replacement, they're all going to be amazing. So how did I edit this? Well, I didn't do too much to it. I bumped my uh, exposure slightly, and then I boom boomify my contrast, add some clarity because I just want this to look nice and solid and I took out some yellow and that's really it what's recovery I hate recovery by the way let's see if there's a need to take out some magenta not too much but let's look at this that's pretty nice you know it's a nice image I'm sharp right here with the 302.8 and I'll say when shooting something like this this is almost what I would consider a perfect portrait of somebody on stage if the hand wasn't down here which isn't a hard thing to take out if you really wanted i think it would be almost perfect uh you could see that there's enough headroom over here there's enough headroom here the eyes are leading out of the frame it just it's like one of those awesome shots that you usually see of presidents and and dignitaries and things like that so there's really not much else to edit in this photo but i just like looking at this. So I'm going to put up the high res image for you guys to look at so you can download it from the web page and then, you know, give your opinion. What do you think of the D7000 here at 3200 ISO? Um, how do you think it held up? Are you happy with it? Uh, do you want to, is there something you would like it to have done better? Uh, in this case, I really think the colors are popping. I think that uh, the clarity is really, really spot on. This file, this raw file, is bigger than the raw file for my D3S, and that's because it has more megapixels. And remember, more doesn't mean better. I would still take the D3S any day of the week, but again, this D7000 is very well-rounded with the video capabilities and, and the still capabilities in low light. It just gets a lot of people into the game. Of course, there's downsides to having a smaller body, but we'll get to all of that in the review. So let me see. I may add some more yellow in here to make this pop a little more. Eh, a little less. A little less. Let me see. Right about... Are we doing anything? Right about there. I like the feel of that. I like this image. So, yeah, it's not as smooth. 
as in a D3S, but it's pretty spot on. And, you know, you could do a, a really large print from this. So that's... That's all I have to say about this photo of the week, but definitely download it, take a look at it, see what you think, leave a comment below on how you think this D7000 file looks to you, and that's about it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!